This is Classical Conversations, 5th edition, cycle 1, week 9 science. This is our crayfish dissection. For this lesson, you will need per student tweezers, a dissection tray, a pair of gloves, they will need their pencil, and they will also need whatever identification sheet you have chosen for your community. Again, we are going to focus on our five core habits of grammar for science. The majority of this time, the students will be engaged in hands-on observation of their crayfish. So they aren't going to have a lot of time that they're going to be still. They're, you want to give them an opportunity to use the majority of your 30 minutes of time to really see and probe around and do as much as they can with the crayfish. But while they're doing that, this is a great time for you to have conversations with them. So we will start with naming. We will name things that we've already uh, discussed and that we know and how to categorize them. You might say, boys and girls, did you know that a crayfish lives in fresh water? But it has a cousin that lives in the, the ocean and it's called a lobster. Do you know what kingdom um, a crayfish is a part of? What kingdom do you think it's a part of? That's right, Animalia. And did you know that, um, do you know what phylum it's a part of? That one might be a little trickier. It's a, it's a part of the phylum of arthropods. And do you know what its class is? Well, its class is a crustacean. Mm, that's a neat word, huh? Crustacean. Moving on to um, attending, this is when we're using our five senses. Boys and girls, what does your crayfish smell like? What does it feel like? Is it soft? Is it rubbery? Is it hard? Um, does it have toes like Miss Whitney? Does it have toes like you? What about it? Does it have ears that look like yours? What does your crayfish look like? Um, does it make any noise if we squish it or if we poke it? What about if we tap it? Does it, does it have a hard sound to it or a soft sound? And then we would move on to memorizing. While they're looking at all the parts of their crayfish, they're going to be very excited and uh, laughing, but you can say, okay, boys and girls, this is a good time to talk about some of the things that we've learned in new grammar in science. And these, and I can give you more information about these things that we've talked about. So we said that there, um, there are kingdoms of living things, right? Which family of king or which kingdom do crayfish belong to? That's right. They belong to the animalia. So can you tell me the kingdoms of living things? Very good. And we said that all animals are made up of animal cells. Can you tell me the, um, the parts of an animal cell? Good job. And then um, on week five, we talked about the major groups of invertebrates. And the major, major groups of invertebrates are? Very good. <clears throat> when we are expressing this is a time for if you have kept their science journals and not sent those home, if they have if they have a time, they could do a, a sketch of the crayfish or write down an interesting fact that they learned that they don't want to forget. Um, this time is also a time for you to um, have them tell you back what you have covered with the crayfish and what you have told them. And then lastly is storytelling. It would be a good idea to find a neat um, book about crayfish that you could read to them with some facts and some pictures. And um, But one thing that I want to talk about is giving the students time to really find all the parts that are on whatever uh, identification sheet you chose. I know that there's one on CC Connected and I know that Lighthouse has one as well as Cornerstone. They both have an identification sheet. So just giving the students a, a good opportunity to find those things. And you might say, you know, boys and girls, how do you think crayfish uh, reproduce? Uh, does your crayfish have any eggs? Look below the swimmerettes. <clears throat> just things like this. Again, the, the majority of the time for this 
30 minute segment is going to be engaged with the student being hands on, probing and learning about their crayfish. And the main thing that we want the students to get out of this is good observation skills, good critical thinking skills, the, um, the ability to retell a narrative of what they've seen and heard and done, and just uh, to be hands-on engaged in science. We want science to be fun for them. We want them to think it's not just something that they learn in a textbook, that they get to really um, put their hands on this creation that God has blessed us with. This is cycle one week nine science, the crayfish dissection. I hope this video is a blessing to you and I hope you're having a great year in your communities.